Hey, what's up guys? Um, I'm back with another uh, resume review video. In this video, I'm gonna, same as the last video, I'm going to go over two resumes and sort of point out things that I notice from a glance and how um, they structure and format their resumes so you guys can help, it can help you guys uh, structure your resume a little bit better. Um, so if you like these videos, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, that helps the algorithm sort of show my video to more people that might like it. Um, it uh, also gives me feedback knowing that this video is good and that I should upload more of these. So this one is a completely redacted resume um, and I'm going to go ahead and start commenting it up. So from a glance, it looks really good. Um, you have objective, project, technical skills, and experience in completely different sections, as well as internships, which is kind of a um, question mark. So internships should be in the same section as experience, because um, they are experience. So what you should do in this case is you should just specify your role as software engineering intern or engineering intern. Um, Another thing to call out is that it's weird that experience is at the bottom because experience should be the first thing that you sell. If you think of your resume as a, um, as a sales tool, you're really selling yourself to the company. And um, the resume is the one thing that the company decide, looks at to decide whether they want to bring you in for an interview or not. And then in an interview is sort of the sales meeting with the company to prove to this company that you're the person that's good for the role. So um, typically, since companies get so many resumes, they don't have time to look at everybody. So you want to put your most important information at the top. And experience is probably the most important thing. This should go, should go after objective. Um, otherwise, it looks like his his write-up is decent. Constructed, documented, maintained video control room by streaming and recording equipment, set up network security. So this isn't really a software engineering um, inter, uh, experience, which is probably why he moved it to the bottom. This looks like more network engineering or IT. So I can see why he moved it to the bottom. But it is important to just move it to the top because I think that experience is the most important thing. You can always, um, you can always take other work experience and sort of like show that you can work in a corporate environment, which is also important. Um, so then projects, tokenizer. So he's a Web3 developer. He has a lot of experience doing Web3. Um, all these, ex all these uh, tools are good. One thing I could highlight is that there's just a lot of keywords here. Like he listed out everything that he did. Solidity, Python, Brownie, OpenCV, Chainlink. Um, there's just like too many words here. I would cut this down and put most important. And that is like the core technology that you use for these. Like for example, Solidity Python, that can be used for every project. OpenCV is more um, uh, ML focused, but you can be, it can be used in a lot of big tech companies, but you're really just sort of spraying and praying and hoping that you land something, um, which makes it harder to sort of figure out as the hiring person, like does this person fit in my team? Cause that's what the hiring managers try and decide. The objective section is helpful for that, but um, I don't know, once you get past the objective section, it just becomes sort of like a rapid fire. It's like, oh, this guy knows Solidity, React, JavaScript, Python. Like all of these are great, but there's just too many words. You, we need to cut these down to maybe two to three at most. Um, live NFT auction, he created a server, loan marketplace. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit jumbled. It's just, it's just too many keywords. So overall, um, I, I would give this resume a three or a four out of 10. And which, it sounds harsh, but the way that it's formatted just makes it seem like this person isn't very confident in their skills or they aren't really sure what they're doing. I'm not sure if, if I was a hiring manager, if I picked up this resume, if I would give this person a call because there's probably hundreds of resumes that are more tailored to what I'm looking for. If I was a Web3 hiring manager, maybe like I would, be more inclined because all his stuff is like focused on Web3 and ML. But as a generalist suite, I'm, I'm not sure if, if this uh, this resume would 
um, would make the initial um, phone screen. Let's go to the second resume, and um, the information here is redacted. Um, so at a glance, this looks good. Um, it, the different sections are created and they're in a logical order. They start with education, followed by skills, work experience, projects. The only thing I might call out is personally for me, I move my skills at the bottom. I keep skills at bottom, but this is personal preference. Um, he, has his, uh, he has two um, education experiences, two diplomas. Um, so uh, it looks like he has a Bachelor of Science in Financial Technology, so he's more of a fintech guy. Um, he started working for a major bank. Um, I personally wouldn't keep this here. Um, it's, it's one thing to sit, be honest, but saying that you just joined a month ago and then if you send your resume out again, it is kind of red flaggy. Um, I would just take out the first part and just say, working on commission microservices for trade execution. Um, that, that, way it was, um, that way it sort of gets to the point, and then you can like sort of skid around the whole idea, fact that you joined a month ago and you are still ramping up right now. Um, so before that, he had an internship, he created bugs, automated stand attendance, built a calendar system allowing students to view. Um, so this is a lot of work for an intern, and it find, I find it a little red flaggy that you can do all of this in three months. Typically, in my internships, I maybe work on one feature or two features. The fact that you listed um, generating ideas, fix bugs, this is a normal part of the job. I would just take this bullet out. Like everybody, every developer fixes bugs, every developer implements new features, so this is sort of like extra wording that isn't really needed. Um, every every job in software engineering does this. Um, create a content management system, automated attendance, built a calendar system, developed a reward point system, voucher review. This is interesting. You can use this experience to jump into a lot of different categories. I would expand on this. Like how did you implement it? What was the impact? Did it increase conversion? Um, was it successful? Was it not successful? And you might not be able to get an answer within a three month internship, but that's something that is interesting experience that should be moved to the top. Um, built counter experience to, okay, this is like straight up system building. Um, since a lot of these are created, one thing that you could do is um, move all created or feature development bullets into one and create a list of all the features you built. Um, just, I know you're, I know that like you might be trying to stretch all your experience to cover the page, but right now it's just like kind of questionable how like an intern can do all of these things. Knowing the normal product development cycle at a big tech company, it takes like three months to develop a single feature. So I don't think that um, you could, uh, I don't think like if you can list all those things, then it makes me think that all those features aren't meaningful. Um, so another thing I noticed about these bullet points is that there's a lot of what you did, but very few of what was the impact. Um, so what I mean by this is a perfect, um, a perfect resume um, bullet point should follow the STAR method, which is a situation, task, action, result. So you, instead of saying like, create a content management system, you could say something like, um, was uh, created a content management system to help um, computer uh, system admins uh, manage their content, resulted in 20% increase productivity for system admins. Um, and you can add a bullet point or a part for the action, which is implemented it in React or Swift or, um, or what else do you use, PHP, and then result in 20% increase uh, productivity for system admins. So that is a more compelling bullet point, and that'll tell me exactly what you did and the impact that it had, which will make it make you more valuable as a um, candidate because suddenly you 
aren't just saying like, oh, I did this, this, and this, but I also, I did this, this, and this, and then it caused a 20% increase in productivity or in, it improved like the system of the, of the company I worked in, which as a person, if I was a person that was hiring, that would be something I'd want on my team. And then now you've just sold yourself a little bit better. So going on to the next, I, I like spend a lot of time on this bullet point. There's just a lot of things I could call out for here. Um, and then the next one, uh, produce research results. Okay, this is this is normal. Um, this is another three month internship. Um, so now I go to projects. I like how very sparingly you use keywords. This is um, good because uh, it's quality over quantity. Um, as in like the last resume, there was over there was qu quantity over quality. Um, this one is more quality focused. React is a very good keyword to have. Interactive virus game simulation, um, cool matrix data structure, movie twits. Um, typically, when I see the project section, what I'm looking for is sort of passion. Um, it's sort of like I want to know this this person is passionate about coding, not just doing it for a job and um, sort of like the project section shows that like knowing this person can go out of their way and use a Twitter API and figure out how to use it, um, build, an, build a simple web app, even though it doesn't have to like be released. Um, it's not really like the, the finished product, more of like something to talk about, knowing that you can go into an ambiguous situation and finish and build a product out of that. So that is um, good. It's not as important as work experience. I think work experience is always more important than project experience. Um, but having projects is cool because it sort of shows me that you're passionate. Um, so overall, I think like this would be like a five or six out of 10 resume. Um, the bullet points could use a lot of work. It's, it's like the overall structure looks great. Um, the overall design looks great, but it's like once you start reading, it's just like, get to the point like you built all these things but I could um, as as like a uh, like a hiring manager I could just bring in a contractor and do these why should I bring you in as like a full-time employee because like you created a positive impact on my business you created a positive impact on my team and what are the results of that so um, yeah that was, I only had two resumes prepared for you guys today um, Thanks for watching. If you really enjoyed this video, um, you can submit your resume in the link in the description. And um, remember to hit that subscribe, smash that like button. It helps the algorithm sort of show this video in front of more people that need it or want to watch it. And it also gives me feedback whether this video is good, um, whether, um, whether it was bad. So thank you again um, and much love. Peace, guys.